مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم Welcome again to our Gateway to Arabic Dialogue series. Today's lesson, we're going to use a uh, word where to ask questions and then offer sample answers. Let's see how many questions we can uh, deal with. So what's the where in Arabic? Where in Arabic is Aina. Aina. Let's ask this first question. Asu'alu uh, al awwal. The first question. Asu'alu al awwal. I know, important question indeed, and that is when you are desperate, you will say, um, "Where is the toilet? <laughs> where is the toilet?" So, how do you say that in Arabic? Right. We know where is aina. Okay. And what's the toilet in Arabic? There are a number of words we can use uh, for toilets. Uh, the easy one is uh, al hammam. Al hammam. Ayn al hammam. Ayn al hammam. Min fadlik, please. I need hammam. Ayn al hammam. Where is the toilet? Al hammam actually means bathroom. Ayn al hammam. Where is the toilet? Another word for toilet is al mirhad. Al mirhad. Ain al mirhad. Al mirhad, lavatory, toilet. Ain al mirhad. Where is the toilet? So Ain al hammam. Ain al mirhad. Min fadlik, please. Now. The third one is, yes, of course, it is important to all this. Yes, the third one is Daurat Mia. Daurat Mia, that's washroom. Aina Daurat Mia. So, where's the toilet? Okay. The fourth one, I, I promise that's the last one. The fourth one, I actually like this more. And it is Baytul uh, Khala. Bait, we know bait means house or place. Khala means emptiness. Emptiness. As if you are saying, please, where is the place I can hide to empty everything, to download all the stuff? <laughs> I want to download it, I want to hide away. So, Aina <laughs> Baytul Khala. Aina Baytul Khala. So you have four options there. One is Aina Al Hammam, Aina Al Mirhad, Aina Daurat Miyah, Aina Baytul Khala. Min Fadlik, please. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's offer a, a sample answer. Okay, you may say, uh, من خلال uh, ذلك الباب وراءك هناك من خلال ذلك الباب وراءك هناك That's mean through that door behind you over there من خلال That's mean through uh, الباب That's mean door وراءك behind you هناك over there. من خلال الباب وراءك هناك. Through that door behind you over there. That's one possible answer. You may say في نهاية هذا الممر في نهاية means at the end of هذا الممر this corridor على يسارك on your left or على يمينك on your right or أمامك in front of you في نهاية هذا الممر at the end of this corridor على يسارك on your left or على يمينك on your right or أمامك in front of you okay that's Question number one, down. Question number two, second question. 
السؤال الثاني السؤال الثاني that's mean question number two or the second question السؤال الثاني what else can we ask about using aina yeah okay let's say where is the cafe international uh, internet cafe where is the internet cafe in this area how do we say that in arabic where we know aina what's the internet cafe cafe is makhan that's cafe what's the internet internet is ashabika ashabika اين مقهى الشابكه في هذه المنطقه in this area now there are other words for internet apart from ashabika which i happen to like uh, it can be شبكه العالميه المعلومات for instance but whatever you say don't say internet arabic has, has its own vocabulary no مقهى الشابكه uh, internet cafe اين مقهى الشابكة في هذه المنطقة Where is the internet cafe in this area في هذه uh, this المنطقة المنطقة area أين مقهى الشابكة في هذه المنطقة Possible answer We can say uh, Inside the shopping center after the bridge for example inside that's me dakhila dakhila markaz at-tasawwuq markaz is a center tasawwuq is shopping shopping center dakhila markaz at-tasawwuq after ba'da bridge jisr so dakhila مركز التسوق بعد الجسر after the bridge داخل مركز التسوق بعد الجسر أين مقهى الشابكة في هذه المنطقة داخل مركز التسوق بعد الجسر Okay, that's question number two done. Aswal al the third question. Question number three. Aswal al What else can we ask for? Ah, let's ask for somebody who's arrived at the airport and want to know where is the taxi stand. Taxi stand, where taxis park waiting for passengers. Aina. موقف موقف means stands where cars are parked أين موقف سيارات الأجرة سيارات that's cars سيارات الأجرة that's a taxi taxi a car that you pay for to rent أين موقف سيارات الأجرة من فضلك Please, where is the taxi stands? So, the possible answer may be أخرج من البوابة رقم ثلاثة Exit from the uh, gate number three بوابة باب is a door بوابة that's a gate أخرج من البوابة رقم ثلاثة تجده أمامك You find it in front of you أخرج من البوابة رقم ثلاثة Exit from gate number three تجده أمامك And you find it in front of you That's one possible answer Okay, let's go for question number four السؤال الرابع Fourth question. السؤال الرابع. Fourth question. What else? Ah, we can ask about the uh, station, for instance. What's the station in Arabic? Station in Arabic is محطة. أين المحطة؟ أين المحطة؟ 
أين المحطة؟ Where is the station? أين المحطة؟ You may ask for a specific station like a, a train station. What's the train in Arabic? Is قطار. So you will say أين محطة القطار؟ أين محطة القطار؟ Where is the train station? أين محطة القطار؟ Where is the train station? Or you can ask for bus station, coach station. Uh, buses are حافلات. أين محطة الحافلات؟ أين محطة الحافلات؟ Where is the bus station, coach station? Don't say أين محطة الباصات. No. Use the Arabic word for it. Arabic is rich in, in the vocabulary. So, say الحافلات. أين محطة الحافلات? Where is the bus station? Okay. Possible answer. Simply you can say على الشارع الموازي. شارع means street or road sometimes. الموازي means parallel. على الشارع الموازي لهذا. On the parallel road to this road. على الشارع الموازي لهذا. وقبل and before مكتب البريد. مكتب البريد is post office. على الشارع الموازي لهذا وقبل مكتب البريد and before uh, um, the uh, post office مكتب البريد okay so this is the example of how you can use أين to ask question and we have offered you some answers as well so please study that for me next lesson we are going to add to that using أين as well so I'll see you next lesson. By the way, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please do so. And don't forget to uh, send these links to your friends, your contacts, who may be interested in learning Arabic as well. And please leave comments for me below and make your contribution, if you can, to my charity, Helping Hands for Education.org. Thank you so much. See you next time. مع السلامة إلى اللقاء في أمان الله